Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from variable separable method. So we are going to solve a differential equation using variable separable method. So let's get started. Problem. Solve x minus y whole square into dy by dx equals to a square. Solution. Given differential equation is x minus y whole square into dy by dx equals to a square. Consider it as equation number 1. Now put x minus y equals to t or you can say let Now, differentiating on both sides with respect to x, we get dx by dx minus dy by dx equals to dt by dx. dx by dx is 1 minus dy by dx equals to dt by dx. Okay. Again, take this dy by dx to right hand side and dt by dx to left hand side. Then you get 1 minus dt by dx equals to dy by dx. Okay. That is, we get dy by dx equals to 1 minus dt by dx. So you can replace this dy by dx by 1 minus dt by dx and replace x minus y by t. Okay. So 1 becomes t square into dy by dx is 1 minus dt by dx equals to a square. Okay. So you could write it as 1 minus dt by dx equals to a square by t square. This becomes 1 minus a square by t square equals to dt by dx then t square minus a square by t square equals to dt by dx then dx equals to t square by t square minus a square into dt okay so here you're having t square by t square minus a square right In the numerator you are having t square and in the denominator you are having t square minus a square. What we will do is we will change the numerator in terms of t square minus a square. Okay. So you can change it by subtracting and adding a square. Okay. You can consider it as one term and a square as one term. Since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, you would split the whole expression into two terms. So you would write it as t square minus a square by t square minus a square plus a square by t square minus a square. So this is equals to t square minus a square, t square minus a square gets cancelled, you'll get 1 plus a square by t square minus a square. Okay? t square minus a square 1 is t square minus a square. So you get 1 plus the second term as it is. So 
So you can replace t square by t square minus a square by 1 plus a square by t square minus a square. Okay. Since t square by t square minus a square equals to 1 plus a square by t square minus a square. So you could write it as dx equals to 1 plus a square by t square minus a square into dt. Okay. So now integrating on both sides. We get integral dx equals to integral of 1 plus a square by t square minus a square into dt. So for that it has integral dx equals to integral 1 into dt plus integral a square by t square minus a square into dt. Now we can write the constants outside the integral. So this is equal to integral dt plus a square into integral 1 by t square minus a square into dt. Okay. So here we will use some formulas here. Means we know that integral dx is equals to x plus c integral 1 by x square minus a square into dx is equals to 1 by 2a into log mod x minus a by x plus a plus integral constant c. Okay. So we are going to apply these formulas here. We will get integral dx is x equals to t plus a square into 1 by in the place of x we are having t and in the place of a we are having a. Okay. 1 by 2a into log mod t minus a by t plus a plus integral constant c. Okay. This becomes x equals to t plus a by 2 into log mod t minus a by t plus a plus c. Now substitute t equals to x minus y. Then this becomes x equals to x minus y plus a by 2 into log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a plus integral constant c. Here x gets cancelled. Now we can take this y to left hand side. You'll get y equals to a by 2 log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a plus c. It is a required solution for the given differential equation. This completes a problem. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.